Hello, Oak County Road families. This is the update for the week of January 28th. Um, the warm weather and rain at the end of last week cleared the snow and ice off of our playground, and so we're hoping that we don't get much snow today and tomorrow so that the playground will be able to stay clear and the kids will be able to finally get back outside. We know that they need it. Um, in the last few emails that have been sent out, there's been information about bring someone special to lunch days. So we're working with Chartwells, the district's food service provider, to bring back this popular event. In the upcoming weeks, we're inviting parents and guardians to come to school and join their child for lunch. It's just a really fun way to invite parents and students to spend some time together at school and also for families to be able to try the school lunch. This week, we're doing fifth grade and second grade. In the following weeks, we'll be doing fourth grade, first grade, and then third grade and kindergarten. Um, in all of the emails that have been sent out and also the email that was sent out to families this morning, there's a link for adults to sign up to attend. Adults must sign up to attend this event because we need to be able to plan not only for the number of people that are attending, but also how many meals that the uh, food service program needs to create. So please um, go look for that link, sign up, and we're looking forward to having you attend um, in the next few Wednesdays. One of the things that, um, as we talk about student attendance, families have uh, expressed that there's still some confusion post-COVID about when students should stay home when they're sick. And so um, I thought it would be really great to try and give some clarification around this. And fortunately, the information that families need is, is already in the um, the elementary school handbook, which can be found online on all of the elementary school websites. So. Essentially, you need to keep your child home from school if your child has one of the following symptoms. So obviously, if they, if they have a fever above 100 degrees within the last 24 hours, and um, that's without um, being given any fever-reducing medication. Um, if they have a sore throat or swollen glands, if they have an earache that includes discharge from the ear canal, if they have itchy red eyes, um, if they have frequent or uncontrolled coughing, if they have a severe headache, if they have an unidentified rash, um, again, obviously, if, if they have been vomiting or have had diarrhea in the last 24 hours and need to stay home from school, and then if they've been having seizures. Um, if your child has been diagnosed with strep throat or an eye infection, and actually strep throat has been something that's been going around quite a bit since coming back from the holidays, um, your child needs to be on an antibiotic for at least 24 hours before being able to return to school. And then the last one, which everyone still, you know, is interested in is if your child tests positive for COVID, the protocol has stayed the same since last year, but that doesn't mean that it's super clear. So just to clarify what that protocol is, um, families should consider day zero as the day that your child begins showing symptoms. So not necessarily the date that they tested positive, because we know tests can actually take a couple of days to come back positive. So considering that day that symptoms start as day zero, you should keep your child home from school through day five. So not return on day five, but through day five. And then your child can return to school on day six as long as they're fever free and they're not experiencing any vomiting or diarrhea within the past 24 hours. It is recommended that your student wear a mask from day six through 10, but is not required. So hopefully this helps families um, have a better understanding of when they should keep their child home from school. You're always welcome to call Mrs. Four, our wonderful school nurse, and she'll walk through, you know, what your child's symptoms are and, you know, what she thinks in terms of whether they should come to school or not. We have an online volunteer training being offered this Thursday, February 1st um, at 4.30 p.m. This is online. It's virtual, so no one needs to come to school. So hoping it's really convenient for families. Um, if you've reviewed the volunteer handbook, and there's a link in the email and a link on the school website, um, you know that you need to attend the volunteer training at least one time in your child's school career. You don't have to attend this annually. Um, and so if you've never completed this training session and you think you might be interested in either volunteering at the school or serving as a chaperone on a field trip, you must complete this training. Um, you also need to have an updated background check and the Smithfield Police Department does a terrific job of this. There's a link on the school website and the district website that goes right to the Smithfield Police Department web page on how to do this. Um, so the training, the online volunteer training is going to be again Thursday, February 1st at 4.30 and there's a link on how to join the training, the online training in the email that was sent out to all families. So if you're interested, we're looking forward to seeing you there. It won't take any longer than 30 minutes and most of the time it doesn't even take that long. 
Um, you know that we partner as a district and a school with Bryant University, and so they've sent us um, a really cool opportunity for National Girls and Women um, Day in Sports, which is happening this Saturday, February 3rd. So they're hosting kindergarten through sixth grade girls sports clinic on uh, this coming Saturday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And there's also free admission to the Bryant women's basketball game at two o'clock, which is pretty cool. So in the email that we sent home, there's a little flyer that was put together. And you can also just visit bryantbulldogs.com for more information. In terms of upcoming dates and events, um, you know that we keep the school calendar up to date and you can subscribe to that right from the school website. But um, as we talked about this week, we have bring someone special for lunch, fifth grade and second grade. So this Wednesday. We have a parent volunteer training online Thursday, February 1st at 4.30. Um, we have Bring Someone Special for lunch for fourth and fifth graders on Wednesday, February 7th. We have Bring Someone Special for lunch for third grade and kindergartners Wednesday, February 14th. And we have no school starting on Monday, February 19th through Friday, February 23rd for February recess. We're also going to be having some special spirit days that last week before uh, February break. And so we'll be sharing some information with families about those soon. So um, if you have any questions, refer to the email that was sent to all families this morning. And um, every week when that email goes out, it's also posted in the news section on the school website. So thank you. And we hope everybody has a terrific week.